Hey everybody, this is uh, episode 80 of the Geek Minds Podcast. I'm Ramon Mejia. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, we had recorded this podcast earlier. Uh, we had some technical difficulties and lost the entire thing. So this is actually the re-recording of episode 80 of the Geek Minds Podcast. Uh, and I'm going to be doing it solo. Eight years off working uh, double shifts today, unfortunately. Uh, but every podcast on Geek Minds, we bring you the round of the best geek, geek and tech news every single week. We discuss this in case I discuss this <coughs> and anything else we're interested in the week. And in Geek News, we're going to be talking about the SpaceX rocket explosion, 3DS game announcements, Deathstroke in DC movies possibly, uh, the Squirrel Girl TV show, the death of a comedy legend, and so much more. Now, in our regular sections, we have no discussion section this week, uh, but we do have a wonderful, well, not so wonderful uh, story with the geek news section and we'll begin that with this one uh spacex uh spacex unfortunately blows up the facebook satellite on launch uh spacex falcons 9 rocket exploded in cape canaveral thursday morning on board was facebook internet.org satellite which experts estimate cost 95 million dollars that's a fortunate hit for mark zuckerberg uh, in a post on facebook ceo Mark Zuckerberg said that he was deeply disappointed. And uh, that's kind of an understatement when you look at that video. Uh, it is $95 million down the drain for Facebook alone. Uh, not to mention what uh, SpaceX and Elon Musk is kind of feeling right now with the loss of an entire rocket system. Uh, that's, that's a much, much deeper cut for them. Uh, now, our next story is going to be talking about the a different kind of explosion, an explosion of phones. Uh, this one re involving Samsung. Uh, Samsung has confirmed that it is recalling a Galaxy Note 7, its newest smartphone, following reports on th that some devices um, have exploded due to overheated batteries. Uh, the device was launched less than a month ago uh, to very positive reviews, but the concern about the battery in some units which has combusted while exploding, or while charging rather, has forced the company to make a, a blanket recall of all the Note 7s. They've sold over 2.7 million devices so far, and you should be able to exchange your Note 7 for something like the S7 within the week, according to Samsung. Now, uh, our next story after this one is a little more EU-ish. Uh, the EU has, says that Apple has illegal tax breaks and they want them to pay all that money back. Uh, this week, the European Commission was ruled that Ireland granted illegal tax breaks and the company owes 13 billion euros or $14.5 billion U.S. in back taxes to them. Uh, the commissioner of the European Commission said that member states cannot give tax benefits to select companies and that this is illegal under EU state aid rules. Uh, Ireland and Apple disagreed with the verdict, of course, and they plan to appeal the decision. Uh, CEO Tim Cook responds to the ruling, this is total political crap. So, uh, classic Tim Cook there. I understand the confusion about international tax laws and how some countries kind of entice tech companies onto their shores with low or almost no taxes in some regards. Uh, but this is pretty big on that respect. So, hopefully, you know, they can get all that sorted out and everybody can be happy at some point. Okay, uh, our next story is going to be involving Nintendo 3DS Direct. Uh, Nintendo had a wonderful special event this week posted exclusively on the 2016 titles for the 3DS. Uh, so they weren't talking about the new Nintendo NX at any point. And yes, it's still around. Uh, they released more footage for Pokemon Sun and Go, or sorry, Sun and Moon rather. Uh, more footage. It's going to be out November 18, 2016. So if you're into that one, you definitely want to check out the footage from that event. Uh, so Super Mario Maker is heading to the 3DS December 2nd. 2016, as is going to be Mario Party Star Rush, which is the 3DS version of uh, Mario Party. Uh, Mario Party Rush Star Rush is also compatible with the Mario series of Amiibos. That's the one with the red base. Uh, Legend of Zelda, the 30th anniversary is coming up, folks. And Nintendo is doing some special things for it. If you're a fan of the series, you're excited for this. Um, first, there are going to be some new Amiibos, including 8 Bic Link, Ocarina of Time Link, uh, Link and Zelda from Wind Walk Waker. And they're all going to be, of course, available December 2nd in time for Christmas. How delightful of them. Uh, additionally, there's going to be a new art book released 
uh, that Zelda theme from Nintendo. So if you're into the art style of all those Zelda games, that might be a purchase or a purchase for some of you love. Um, as a surprise, Nintendo is also releasing Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword on the Wii U, and it's available now on uh, e a Nintendo eShop today. So good for you guys. Uh, Yoshi's Woolly World is also coming to the 3DS as is Pikmin 3D in 2017. So if you're a Pikmin fan like I am, uh, that's kind of cool. And I just sometimes wish I had a 3DS to play it, but I don't. Now they're also announcing a uh, last thing they can announce at the event was a new 3DS Extra Large. That's the bigger version of the Nintendo 3DS. It's called the Galaxy Style. It has a beautiful Galaxy Style cover. Looks very pretty and is purple, uh, which is unusual for a Nintendo anything. So if you've been waiting for that purple handheld, this is your thing, guys. Now, next story, it's going to be Deathstroke. Uh, Deathstroke may be the villain of the next Batman movie or Justice League. Uh, this week, Ben Affleck shared a video of some live-action footage featuring the villainous assassin Deathstroke on his Twitter page. Uh, the majority of the speculation online is pointed to the footage being from the Justice League, but nobody really knows for sure, folks. Um, it may be that this figure, Deathstroke, is going to appear in the Ben Affleck-directed independent or, or solo film for Batman. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be some off-over-the-wall, over-the-top Batman film with a slew of villains and Deathstroke just maybe one of the people showing up to try to murder Batman. Now, let's see. Uh, next one. Netflix finally renews Stranger Things. Uh, this week, Netflix announced that they renewed their hit show, Stranger Things, for a second season, and they've released a teaser trailer telling you some of the episode titles. Uh, according to internet rumors and people who are in the know, um, they have actually been re already been filming the second season of Stranger Things for quite a while now, which is why they have all these titles available. They have the scripts ready-made, and they're shooting them currently, so good for them. I love that show. Uh, the episode titles are uh, as follows. Episode 1, Mad Max. Episode 2, The Boy Who Came Back to Life. Episode 3, The Pumpkin Patch. Episode 4, The Palace. Episode 5, The Storm. Episode 6, The Polywog. Episode 7, The Secret Cabin. Episode 8, The Brain. And Episode 9, The Lost Brother. Now, of course, there may be more episodes that they just haven't written yet uh, that they plan to film, but those are the first nine and uh, I got to say, personally, I'm looking forward to it. I loved Stranger Things. My wife and I binge watched through it in, uh, in a week. We'd plan to try to stretch it out for two, but it was just too good to put off. Okay, um, more Netflix news. Uh, Bill Nye, the science guy, has gotten a show on Netflix now. Uh, the world famous science guy is getting his own Netflix show called Bill Nye Saves the World. Uh, the show will feature... Nye tackling specific problems from a scientific point of view as opposed to the non-scientific point of view which is what often happens uh, the show is set to debut in spring 2017 so if you're a Bill Nye fan like me uh, I grew up watching Bill Nye the science guy that was a great introduction to science and scientific method and curiosity and figuring out how ways to, to test for things and to learn about you know general science um, I'm excited to see him back on the air. Um, our next story involves a squirrel girl and some new warriors. Uh, Marvel and ABC Studios have been developing their first half-hour comedy based on the new warriors and squirrel girl. Uh, I think squirrel girl is going to be like the leader of the gang or maybe she's the center of the folks uh, of the picture and maybe she's working with the new warriors uh, either as a caretaker or as a member. Uh, not too many details are available at this point since they're still developing the pilot. But this is another example of Mar Marvel, you know, recognizing the success of their, their endeavors with Netflix and those series and really uh, saying, yeah, let's let's capitalize on this and do some more stuff. Remember, they're also doing some things with FX um, to do some of the X-Men mutant franchises. Uh, so it's it's good on Marvel to to be expanding their library of, of, of products beyond the film realm. Um, additionally, Step Up Helmer. Uh, Trish sighs to direct Universal's Pitch Perfect 3. Uh, this lady in this picture, if you can see it in the video version podcast, uh, Trish Sai is known for her work on Step Up All In, um, and she's now going to be directed to Pitch Perfect 3, which sort of makes sense. 
um, the transition from one type of entertainment uh, dance to singing. Uh, Pitch Perfect Theory is slated to come into theaters December 22nd, 2017, which means they probably should start filming this thing now. Uh, she takes over for Liz the Bank, who directed the 2015 version of Pitch Perfect 2 that saw the highest grossing opening weekend of any musical ever. Movie musical, I should say. Uh, Pitch Perfect 3 will still have main cast members, Anna Kendrick and Rebel Wilson. So, yay. If you're uh, Aka uh, excited about that, I'm happy for you. Uh, Karen Gillian joins the new Jumanji movie. This is kind of a bit cooler story for me. I'm a big Doctor Who fan, personally. Uh, Karen Gillian um, is probably best known for her work on Doctor Who as, as a companion. Um, and she is joining the ever-growing, impressive star city cast of the new Jumanji film, which already includes Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, Nick Jonas, and, of course, now as the leading lady, Karen Gillian. So, great news for that. Now, the, uh, this one is kind of a fun story that I thought was cool. Uh, the MMA League that includes armored night fighting. Uh, the organizers of Russia's M1 Global League are applying the concepts of the uh, mixed martial arts, which is supposed to be a, a free form of just kicking people's butts in an octagon ring uh, with some varying you know, rules and patterns and stuff. Uh, these guys are definitely padded. Um, <laughs> if you watch the clip, um, you can see these guys just going to town each other in full body armor, um, medieval version style. So they're plate mails, chain mail, um, leather studded from a very variety of periods. And these guys are going at it. Um, realistically, the swords are blunted, the shields are real, the armor is real. Uh, so hopefully they're not getting too damaged, but they're really wailing on each other in the styles of, of sword fighting and that they know, um, this is not fake. Uh, they're they're going to town in each other in, in any way that they can, um, and these most of these guys are going to be reenactors who are taking it to the next level of actual combat um, fighting kind of stuff. So this is totally up my alley as as a fantasy sword and sorcerer fan. Uh, so I'm I'm excited to see this kind of thing. I'm, I I enjoy MMA for the same reasons. It's it's real brutal and realistic. And if you're into kind of thing, this is this is definitely going to be up your alley. So I definitely check it out um, if you. Can. Um, next story Tower of Terror to close if you're a Disney fan this is very sad but don't worry uh, you're getting something new in its place uh, the immensely popular Twilight Tower of Terror uh, is going to close in California Adventures January 2nd 2017 that's the one in in, in Anaheim California uh, it's going to be coming back as a Guardians of the Galaxy themed attraction in a couple years um, but to give it the nice uh, farewell that it deserves uh, starting September 9th of this year and running till October 31st of this year guests will be treated to a special late checkout where well, they will experience the ride in total darkness so it's a fun way to kind of give the ride a send off if you haven't been in the area of, of uh, Anaheim California um, come on step by go to Disneyland have a last nice little go on the Tower of Terror before it disappears uh, now, unfortunately, our last story is going to be about a, a loss in the community of actors and comedians. Gene Wilder has died at the age of 83. This was a big news story, uh, so I'm sure nobody is surprised that this is going to be part of our new section. Uh, legendary actor and comedian Gene Wild di Wilder died this week, and according to Variety, it was due to complications from Alzheimer's disease. He was 83. He will definitely be missed. He is a uh, classic comedian that holds a special place in in most moviegoers hearts who've seen his work uh probably best known for his work in willy wonka and the chocolate factory but he had a a massive career um dozens of movies uh comedian great actor he will miss of course now amc is honoring uh, gene wilder by showing uh probably two of his most popular movies, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and Blazing Saddles, this weekend only at 55 locations throughout the United States with tickets costing $5 only. So it's a great price um, and might be your last chance to see those classic movies on the big screen uh, this weekend only, of course. Uh, check your local, local listings for that opportunity. And that's going to be it for Geek News this section, folks. If you like the podcast, you can always help support us at uh, geekbyspodcast.com forward slash support. Thank you very much for listening. You guys have a good week. And uh, remember to go geek out about something.